Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Green Side Up. I'm squinting a little bit, the sun's beating down, just rising over there at the moment. Eight o'clock in the morning now and I'm about to go down the allotments but I thought I'd let you see the chaos that's in in the uh, greenhouse at present because my I planted some Crimson Crush early. I knew it was taking a chance but I do it every year and it normally works out fine for me but this year they got cold shocked. Uh, got far too cold for them in the in the polytunnel and it's just makes makes the leaves go all white and they're not exactly dead they're still living and they would continue to grow and I would get a crop from them they just wouldn't have the vigor that they would that a fresh plant would have so I knew what I was doing and I had some spurs of the crimson crush to replace them with they're all in here I'll show you those in a minute and when I do put those out again in another three or four days, um, I'll take some more down and plant them. I've still got backups. This is the amazing thing. And plus the fact that I've got another polytunnel going up within the next month, I hope. So any of the spares that I've got, can all I'll just bang them all in there and, and see what we get to the end of the season. But anyway, I'll just show you around what I've got in here uh, and then we'll shoot off down the allotments. <laughs> Over here, it's going to be a little bit difficult because of the sun shining. Let's see if I can get around there. These are my Crimson Crush up here, and I think there's eight plants up here. <laughs> Beans in the corner there, and right in the very corner you can't see are all my cucumbers. And I've got my courgettes here and some squashes. And here's the rest of my Crimson Crush. There's another eight plants that aren't even on a bench here. And this is why they're protected here. I've got a frost heater just there that just heats very very slightly and I've got this heated propagator bench now these are my spare plants these are all here are Ildi variety and these are all coming on now these are all a you know a very good size you know almost the same size as the Crimson Crush so they're good and they're a lovely variety and if they fail, <laughs> I've got this lot here. I've got a mix here of Gardener's Delights. Well, these are Ailsa Craig. And there's some Gardener's Delights in here. And then spurs to that are the seedlings that I produced. These Gardener's Delights, I mean, look at the state of those. But, you know, you can, I can still break them apart and get plants and grow them from that if I need them, which I very much doubt. Uh, moving along here, I've got some herbs down here. These are the grafted aubergines. Same places I've got um, that Tony gets his from. And here's my uh, lovely protected peppers. Haven't been grown these since November. I think it was about Janu <laughs> January. <laughs> but yeah, they're doing okay. So there we go. These are the things we have to do to... Um, protective plants so as I say I've got eight there and I planted eight the crimson crush in the tunnel so they will replace the eight there if they fail I have another eight there <laughs> anyway there we go we'll we'll get off down to the allotment now oh and one more important thing as we've got so many plants in here time to ventilate in here as well Okay, so we're down on the plot now, in the big polytunnel. There's a couple of little things I want to show you in here, and then we'll go into the little tunnel, get some plants out and get them planted. <laughs> Just move my coffee cup. I always do that. First thing, first thing when I'm down is I have a little cup of coffee, and a little walk around and have a look at everything, see where we're up to. Now in here, the cold, shocked tomato plants. You can see they've still got green on. They've even got tomato flowers. They're carrying on growing. They just won't have the same vigor. That's why I've got those back up in the greenhouse where they can continue growing well in, in the right temperatures and continue thriving. So those, those eight plants, they're all toast. They've had it and they'll all come out, just leaving them in for the time being. But what I wanted to show you was these sweet peas. Well, first of all, let's have a look in here. These are the radishes I planted very early on in the year. And look at that harvest from them already lovely we'll have them today but these are my sweet peas these are my spring sown ones and there's a couple of things to note here is if you look at this stem thickness here 
okay nothing substantial and the leaves they almost feel like a lettuce almost they're very thin they're very they're very tender plants yet they haven't been hardened off and it's the same with this other batch of sweet peas that i've got over here um there's a plant that's dead there that's had it but yeah again the same thing very thin stems quite supple leaves but they're growing plants and they're doing all right now we'll go and have a look in the other tunnel no actually we'll go and have a look at the other sweet peas i've got outside these are my autumn sown ones outside and they're a bit further on now these have had cold shock as well as the tomatoes as you can see with these leaves lots of white on them but they're still growing they're still wanting to get away so where they've got the white leaves further down they're still producing green stuff they're still growing so they're okay but look at the thickness of the stems now that's due to two reasons one it's hardening off and one because the other one is because they were sown in autumn so they're that much more of a mature plant but the leaves also feel thicker they feel leathery because they've been out and had that cold blast uh, they just got too cold one night i left them out overnight stupidly and that's why they've got cold shock but they are going to go onto these teepees here in this area here into these two te big teepees that i've got uh, that i've put up here and that's the little collection there's not a lot of sense with those but they look pretty anyway and um, so this week they're going in there all i need to do with these teepees is need about a meter of chicken wire around the base of those canes and that gives the sweet peas something to clamber up and get going once they're past that first meter of chicken wire um, they're, they're sort of grabbing hold of each other in the canes anyway but at first they need that little bit of help and support now in here is all the plants that i've been slaving away over for the last couple of months getting them going potted up germinated and all that malarkey and I said, uh, I said on a video the other day, I'm getting the sense that they're getting to the point where they're over. And where I think once they're in the ground, I don't think they're going to do much. But I'm going to start a rescue plan this week. And that starts today. And I've got a tray of lettuce here, which I'm going to plant out today. Regardless of what they do. This big tray over here, if I can manage to get it out. Let's take it out and put it outside. These are reasonable small plants, but I'm going to plant them. But at the same time, back in here again, I've also got a tray of seedlings. So there's three types of lettuce in there and a cabbage. And I'll pot them on this week. They're just in soil, they're not in modules. They want potting on. And I'll see if I can recover them. But at the same time, over the next couple of days, I'm going to sow another couple of types of lettuce. So that, I've, again, I've got the three stages. I don't think these will last very long before they start to wither and die and or go to seed. But I may as well plant them. I've got the space and I've got the new beds over here that I've just filled up, finished filling yesterday. which are these over here and I'll use one of these to get those lettuce in. So I've got my trusty grid and dibber to mark out the straight lines. I'm just going to dib some holes in. I think there's nothing worse in an allotment plot than lines that would look better straight that are wonky and everywhere. I know it's organic, but I don't like it. It makes, irritates me a little bit. So I try to keep things straight. Um, and I'm not good at doing that by eye. So <laughs> it always tends to veer off in a big arc. But anyway, I'm going to get some of these uh, plants in, see what they're like. And just crack on with it, basically. I said, they're not the jolliest of plants. And this variety is, is Arctic King. So 
we'll see how these all do. I'm not expecting great things from them at all. But we'll see where we end up with them. I mean, they don't look particularly root bound. So this one is freckles. They're not really as big and as bad as I thought they would be. I thought they may be too far gone, but we might be all right with these. In case I suck it and see. And this variety is in tread. So we'll have a nice selection. whatever goes on and I know there's still um, one or two frosts or certainly I'm calling them frost it's cold nights really still one or two cold nights to come over the next week or two still not past my last frost date so what I'm going to do with this lot is I'm going to fleece over the top of them and hopefully they'll survive and thrive you know time will tell as they say so I'm going to carry on down down this bed I'm going to plant probably all of these and see how we get on I'll bring you back when we're done right so I've got all those lettuces in my god there is a lot there and the idea this morning when I thought I'm going to plant these was to fleece them and put fleece over them and protect them but I'm actually thinking I might not so I'm kind of toying with the idea I'll make a decision before I go up home today and it'll take me five minutes to cover them if I need to but the reason I'm thinking to not fleece them is I've got named varieties in here varieties that I've grown before and I would get the benefit of knowing that if cold temperatures kill them, then I can't push it with that variety again. Now I do think these varieties, all of these, I think are either not gonna grow very well because they've been sat in pots waiting to go out for over a month. They're either not gonna do too well or they're gonna bolt anyway with a bit of warm weather. So I might actually just use this as an experimental bed, but there's another reason why I think they might survive and I'll, We'll nip back now to the small tunnel and I'll show you. Now this is one of these uh, cheap blow away tunnels. I've had it for a few years and it's, you know, it's shown its age now. But on the outside here, you've got these window flaps, people roll them up and there's a mesh. But there is no mesh here and there's this hole and this has just been flapping through all this cold weather. And it was just inside here where those plants were, that space there is where that hole is. And it was only a couple of weeks ago that I stitched up this great big hole here where the, split, the, uh, the zip had split. And you can see I've just stitched around it just to hold it together. So I'm actually thinking that in the cold weather, those plants might be hardened off enough to survive. So I'm about 75% of the way there to deciding to not fleece them. Plus the fact I've got this great big tray here of cut and come again, cut and come again lettuce, which we've had a few cuts off already, although you wouldn't think so. And I've got this tray of them coming up fast behind. So we're not gonna run short of lettuce. Plus I have got a few down there with some pea shoots 
also to pick from in the next couple of weeks. So I'm not going to run short of lettuce. And there's a whole host of other stuff in here. So as I say, I'm now about 80% short. <laughs> it's getting bigger all the time. But we'll see how that goes and what I decide. And then whatever happens to them, obviously I'll show you the results of that. <laughs> well, I lost my bottle and I decided to fleece these lettuce after all. I think they would have survived the cold nights uh, fairly well. But saying that, just now the sun's just coming out, but there's a very, very icy wind today and I don't think they would have survived that. They're hardened off to cold and cold weather, but they're still very, very tender leaves and I think that cold wind would have put paid to them to be honest so i've bottled it a little bit and decided to fleece them anyway that's it for today do look after yourselves and please stay safe and i'll see you all very very soon certainly over the weekend anyway take care all bye bye <laughs>